Uh, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to teach you um, <coughs> how to do a pompadour. Let me see. That's, too... That's better. I'm going to teach you how to do a pompadour if you have re really wicked, thick, curly hair like I do. Um, you can't really tell right now, but my hair is really curly and especially on the sides, I get these little curls, like all of, you can kind of see them. I get them all the time and I've struggled with doing a pompadour, so to speak, because of my hair and it's been kind of hard to figure it out. Um, what I used to do, I would just slick it back like that. Um, but I have a big hairline, so it kind of looks goofy having it slick back like that. And, um, I figured out a way, because I have multiple pomades. I got Ruzel Green. I got the Ruzel Pink Heavy Hold. And my first actual pomade was Suavecito. But it's, it's people say water-based pomade isn't real pomade. Because real original pomade is oil-based. Like Ruzel. But if, if uh, different kind of pomades work better with different kinds of hair. So if water based works better for your hair, then use water based. Don't let YouTube comments judge what you or what you can or cannot use based on trends. But this is what has been working for me for the past couple of days on getting somewhat of a pompadour. The only thing I have that I use to do my hair is a Afro pick. These work really well. But since they're, they're so long, it's kind of hard to get a good pompadour going. But I'm able to get a decent height of a pompadour, so to speak, you, using this method. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to use your, get your water based. And I have a lot of hair. Look, like my hair is really long now. Like it's pretty, it's pretty long. And it's summer. I'm going to get about that much. Depending on your hair type. A lot of hair like me, get about that much. Put it on the palm of your hand like this. Like that. Just like you normally do. And then I take my Ruzel Green and I get a good I get a good size. First thing you want to do is shower. And I just put I use a little bit of shampoo. I don't want to totally degrease. So I just use a little bit of head and shoulders. The old spice one has Shampoo and conditioner, right? Anyway, so you get that much of the Rosal Green and put it on the same palm as the Suavecito. And then you emulsify it. Emulsify it, you're pretty much, you're melting the compounds or you're warming them up to make it more pliable. It's going to look really white on your hand. It will not, it will not look like that in your hair. So once you got it nice and emulsified, just work it in your hair like get into the base just like really work it into your hair just like really get in there and just work with it okay you know it's good to go when you can mash it together like that but the, my hair is a little wet so just really get in there that should be good because I already did it today. I'm going out for dinner with a couple people and I had a busy day at work. So I got a little sweaty. So I took a shower and I thought, hey, why not teach the community on how to do this with crazy hair like, like mine. So then take a washcloth or yeah, and just get all that gunk off. Most of it's in my hair. I barely felt it in my hands. And then you're gonna you know, brush it back in your hand. Like that. And then you're going to take your pick. And you're just going to comb it. And as you can see, it's doing it's doing a pretty good hold. It's weird doing it on a selfie camera on my phone. I'm used to doing it on a mirror, so I might have to get a little close to see what I'm doing. So you just want to... Work it in there, you know, get it in. And the cool thing is important to comb 
as soon as it's it's looking really good just a little a little crazy on the on the sides really pre once you have it combed since i have a lot of curls on the side take your palm in your hand and just press in because the mix of the two because the thing the thing with suavecito is it gives a really good hold that lasts all day suavecito is good so it gives a really good hold the suavecito and the rusel adds a really good shine so you get a good combination of the both So you just want to press it in there and just make sure the curls are flat because it will hold. It will hold. Um, if you had a busy day like I did and you start sweating a lot, some of the curls will come back, but that's fine. So you can see some of my hair is sticking up. So I'm going to take a little bit of suavecito, just a little bit because I already put a huge chunk in there. Just a little bit to touch it up. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot for a touch up, depending on your hair. Get it nice and emulsified. And then just again, just there. And then once you I want you to touch up, which I didn't think I was gonna have to do, but I did. Just comb it again. You want to make sure it's nice and good, okay? Because pompadours, or just hair hair like this in general, is sort of non-existent these days. Except in pop culture, like actors and stuff. Leonardo DiCaprio and all that, they do their hair like this. But it's not common in the modern man anymore. It's because people are just lazy in the morning. Like, but it's worth it because people do notice it. And if you work in a professional job, it's good to have good hair because you want to represent the company and you also want to look professional. And plus, it gives you a good set of confidence having good hair. <laughs> so once you comb it, you want to place your hand on your hair and just pump it up like that. See? I have my hair... You also got to have a good amount of hair height, length. See? Pompadours are possible with thick and crazy hair like me. You don't want to look at you don't want to make it look too boxed. I don't like that boxy pump. But there you go. I mean, it's very, you got to hold the hair down gently and kind of just push it forward at, at the same time you're doing the pump, the pump thing up. And just uh, work on the sides again like that. And there you go. I have curly hair naturally, so I have that natural curl. If you want, you could add some, which I won't do. I'm pretty good. There you go. It's not like a crazy high pompadour. Because I don't have a good comb for doing that yet. I'm cheap. But overall, that's a pretty good... It adds... It, since I have a big hairline, big forehead, it helps. Matting my glasses. And then you get on your swag. Make sure you're always wearing a shirt when you do it too. That way you don't mess up your hair. I'm going to put on my nice shirt. So there you go. I mean, if you're weird and you like the old fashioned style like me, this works. I'm not too big on this one because the collars are really fat. But if you just, you know. But it works. This works. is really good. It gives a good height. For what you're limited to because it's hard to get a pompadour when you have thick wavy not wavy but curly hair like me but this works it gets the jobs done um just just so you know it's suavecito and rusel green i haven't tried this with the rusel pink 
because the Ruzel Pink is a heavy hold already. So I can't imagine what would happen if I used a firm hold Suavecito pomade with the with this pomade. There you go. It gets the job done. It's not perfect, but hey, I dig it. All right, if you like this video, put a little comment. Check it out.